welcome or welcome back to my channel on today's video we're gonna be cooking yep pork chop mashed potatoes maybe corn something to get it started it's sunday fun day so you already know how that go um i'm gonna have a little company over later so you know want to show the hospitality by you know cooking my company a meal so with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, gang, here's a few of my items that I will be using to prepare this meal. And baby, don't talk about my corn. Corn is corn. Make sure you have that lemon pepper. Pepper. Baby, what y'all know about that larynx? <laughs> this is new. I keep seeing a lot of YouTubers use this. Slap your mama. We not going to go there because, you know. If you know, you know. And this adobo, oh my God. Complete, baby. Baby, baby. Okay, if you know, you know. And also pork chops. Pork chops. I got these actually from Walmart yesterday. Okay. And these, <laughs> these are the best instant potatoes I've ever made. Come on, guys. Let's get this started. In this portion of the video, you guys, I'm going to clean the meat. Make sure you do that. That's very important. Make sure that you clean your meat. That is very important. Come on now. Baby. Hey, clean your meat. Clean your meat. Clean your meat. Now I'll be showing you guys how I season my meat. You know, you got to season it, baby. Don't sit here and just sprinkle a sprinkle, no. Let me show you how I do it my way. And some of y'all grandmas and mamas did it like this too, so don't act like y'all too good to put y'all meat in the sink, baby. If it's sink clean, then you don't have to worry about all that. And I mean that. You know what? I'm going to show y'all the way that my uncle do it. <laughs> y'all must, y'all got to know something about this. Everybody in Miami. Well, I don't know, baby. What y'all know about that mustard? Baby, what y'all know about that mustard giving flavor? Y'all know about that mustard? Not for those of you in the back who like, oh, that's mustard. That's nasty. No, no, baby, you don't even know. Y'all be eating mustard with a lot of things. But baby, this is what my my uncle taught me. And when I tell you the best, <laughs> the best fried chicken you have ever tasted, <laughs> baby, no play with me. This was something that he taught me. So you wanna line it up, spray your pan. I don't know about y'all, but I like to use these green peppers and red peppers in my meat to give it some flavor. And then just a little flavor. And also I sprayed the pan. So you want to do that and set and preheat your oven. Preheat your oven. Now what I'm about to do is give me some make me some water to make these mash. That's a specific way of doing this is very cutthroat and easy. Um, I don't know about putting salt in the water. That, that, that's something I don't do. I don't, I don't deal with salt at all. I mean, that may be good for some, but not all, especially with having hypertension. That is not a good thing. So let that there go. Get ready. At all costs, let that go. And I'm gonna. Y'all know 
gonna act like that. Like, oh, she using off brand corn. The fuck? So what? I'm pretty sure your fucking mama or auntie or somebody else used it too. Don't act all oh, hot for Diddy and shit. Yes, honey. Uh, hey, babe, let me tell you something. Sometimes that off brand can get you through. Through and through. <laughs> but, um. Oh, yeah, I put butter in my um, corn and also complete seasoning. That's just me. You may not do it, but I do it. It may not be a <laughs> for you. Okay. But in my water, I'm going to put some oil. Okay. I'm going to put some oil in the water. Now, these are my recipes. I'm not telling you to follow it. Play by play, book by book. I wish I had some um, cornbread. As you can see, I ain't miss no meal. But don't worry, guys, we're coming off of that. We're coming off of that. We're coming off of this weight. Trust me, we're coming off this weight. It's a must. But, yeah, let that get the cooking. And I'll be right back. Okay, my kitchen is clean because one thing you never supposed to do is work around the dirty kitchen. Period. That's disgusting. That's real nasty. You don't want to do that right there. You don't want to work around a dirty kitchen. Period. Okay. So here it is. The kitchen is clean. Oh, over there, I'm watching my girl Peyton. Shout out to her. And let me tell y'all something. We got the dream big. Like the other day I was having a conversation with my brother and I was like, you know what, I'm already that millionaire. You guys, uh, some of you guys may know that I've been trying to do this, but on my little break from reality, I decided go ahead and do it. And show them, show your subbies, show your viewers, show everybody. Cause you know, from day to day, everybody got something going on or they need help with something in life. And what's the gateway? <laughs> YouTube. So why not? So right now my water is boiling. I got my pork chops in the oven. It's about to be a done daughter. So in the meantime, let me get back to watching my YouTube channels. Well, not my YouTube channels. I mean, you know, my subbies. The one that's like influencing me. And I'm going to tell you what today's date is. We're going to get done, you guys. We're going to get done. Just have faith in me. I'm going to keep pushing out good content. But for right now, today, cooking will be the last thing on cooking. Unless it's healthy. Because like I stated, I've gained weight. And I really need to get this weight off of me. Because huh, October is approaching, you know. For anybody that knows, if you know, you know, that's my birthday. And one thing for certain and two, ha, 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 okay. I'm so sorry I had um, digged in the food before even showing.